Hey, Fruity Cutie, what's up? My name is Jeanette, also known as Misfit Vegan. Yes, I got a few extra highlights in my hair. Thanks for noticing. And um, shout out to the guy on here that said, did you get your hair done yet? What is with the guys that don't even see the the fucking sun-kissed highlights that we do? Anyway, um, so today we're focusing on leaky gut. Okay, so somebody asked, Goddess Jabrina, shout out Goddess Jabrina, everyone. She has leaky gut. She asked, what to eat to heal leaky gut and if probiotics help in your experience and the estimated time frame of which your gut began to heal. Um, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So I thank you for this question. And it was a public question, so I'm not trying to shout her out. But heads up, she got leaky gut, y'all. Um, I Googled leaky gut to see if I ever had it because I don't I was never diagnosed with leaky gut, but there's so many things that we have that we don't even know we have. So here are some of the symptoms. Do you have leaky gut? Digestive issues. <laughs> Who doesn't have digestive issues? Diarrhea, bloating, gas, abdominal pain, nausea, constipation, and indigestion. Acne rashes, eczema, psoriasis, and hives, mood imbalances. Who doesn't have a mood imbalance? Depression, anxiety, other mental health conditions, vitamin B12 deficiency, magnesium deficiency, um, and other symptoms are fatigue, headaches, confusion, difficulty concentrating, joint pain, and widespread inflammation. It sounds like every single person on this planet has leaky gut. And it's funny because, it's funny I say that because I then Googled how many people in the U.S. have leaky gut? And I swear to fruit. Look at what it said. Can you see? Yeah, everyone has leaky gut. It says everyone has some degree of leaky gut. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? We're fucked. As the intestinal barrier is not completely impenetrable. However, some people may be more sensitive to changes in their digestive system uh, due to genetic predispositions predispositions. Uh, some things that can contribute to leaky gut is your diet, your lifestyle, style, stress, and alcohol consumption. Oh my God. My favorite is the people that eat like shit. And then they say, you know, stress is the number one thing. Like I have to lower my stress. Um, you know how much stress is put on the body when you eat shit? Mm -mm, mm -mm. Um, some ways to treat, like, sorry, just so you guys know what was happening just now, I was thinking of a rhyme. I want to make, you know, I have eat fruit, be cute, eat meat, smell like feet. I want to make a rhyme with like eat shit. And I was thinking, what could rhyme with eat? If you eat shit, you'll be legit. That doesn't. Gotta quit. If you eat shit, you gotta quit. Okay. <laughs> I'm obsessed with rhymes. I don't know why. Um, some ways to treat leaky gut. Okay, this is interesting. This is what Google says. Eliminate inflammatory foods. Good idea. Consuming gut healing foods. Another good idea. Getting enough sleep. Taking probiotics. Using digestive enzymes. They must be talking to Dan the man. Uh, getting enough sleep. Reducing exposure to toxins and taking supplements. Okay, what was the original question now? What to eat to heal leaky gut and if probiotics helped in your experience. Okay, I definitely had leaky gut because I had all those symptoms like every single symptom. Um, so I definitely had leaky gut um, and I've definitely healed it. So now what did I do? It's not that hard. Um, um, you're going to have to go raw, boo. Raw or high raw. When I say high raw, you're going to have to go healthy. Let's just stop saying raw and high raw. Let's say healthy. You know what healthy food is, Okay watermelon. Now, okay, maybe you don't have that wh yellow watermelon shmoney. I understand. I understand. But fruit, vegetables, nuts, and seeds. These are the only things on the planet that you are designed to eat, even though I know you got the canines. But um, I'm so vegan, I got one of my canines removed. You see? Okay. In real, in reality, I just want you to know, I got, I had a root canal when I was 18 because a lot of people are new here. I had a root canal when I was 18 and I recently got it extracted and now next week I'm getting the implant in. So I wanted to get all my root canals out because root canals are really dangerous in the human body, but this is for another episode. Okay. So we're not going to talk about that today, but if you want to learn more about that, just check out the movie Root Cause 
Um, I believe it's here on YouTube. I rented it like a few dollars on YouTube or it's on Netflix or something. Okay, root cause is what really inspired me to get that root canal out. I got two others out as well. Um, so now back to leaky gut. Yes, you need to really get healthy to heal your leaky gut. And what are what are some foods to eat? Fruit, vegetables, nuts, and seeds. Mostly fruit because your digestive system is very sensitive at the moment and fruit is perfect for that. It's the most perfect food for anybody that's having gas and bloating and acne and constipation and all these things. Um, I did recently speak to someone who was supposedly eating raw and constipated, but in reality, um, they've only been eating raw for a few days. So give it a few, give it a few more days. Um, you know, stress and you being in fight or flight can definitely add to constipation and, and pain and, and inflammation and all these things. Um, but in reality, um, it's going to be helped a lot by the raw food diet. Uh, you just need to give it a little bit of time. It might not work overnight. It might, but you might need to be raw or healthy for, you know, a week, two weeks, three weeks. Like it's not going to be 24 hours. Okay. The only thing that works in 24 hours is toxins and chemicals. Bleach. Bleach gets things, um, gets stains out immediately, right? Um Prescription pills, antibiotics, they kill things immediately and um, they also destroy you and your gut. And I know a lot of people that have leaky gut and really bad digestion because of antibiotics. So speaking of probiotics, I'm glad you asked about those because, yeah, a lot of people want to take antibiotics and they don't realize the side effects, which is a lot of times leaky gut symptoms. Um, I definitely messed up my gut by taking over 20 antibiotics that I know of, right? I don't know as a baby what I was given, but I know every single year for the first 26 years of my life, I was sick. I got the flu or this or that, the common cold or bronchitis. Um, I was always coughing my whole childhood. And so I always had antibiotics, z packs and things like that. So um, my gut healed, my constipation went away, my acne went away by going raw and staying raw. And the only way to do that is to enjoy it. You see, I am so against juice cleansing and mono meal fasting. Like, I love mono meals. I just had one. I just had watermelon for lunch. Um, the whole watermelon. This is the second half. But um, I love mono meals. I don't love mono meal cleanses because you are not going to always want watermelon. Sometimes you want nice cream or a green juice or an avocado. Sometimes you want to get crazy and make a taco salad or make a raw vegan cheesecake and drizzle some chocolate or caramel on top and live your life, boo. Live your best healthy life. But see, when you are restricting yourself and you're creating a miserable experience doing something, what's going to happen is, is you're not going to want to continue to do it. You're not going to want to return to it. So once you're off your cleanse, you're going to want to go to your fun food, your pleasurable food, your easy to eat food, your enjoyable food. You see, what I'm asking you to think about is to create a raw food lifestyle that is delicious and fun and easy to do. That's why I don't recommend you get a dehydrator. That's not easy to do. I don't recommend you go on a juice cleanse. That's not easy to do. Um, I don't recommend you go on a mono meal cleanse. It's not easy to do. It's, it takes a lot of discipline, a lot of willpower, and I don't have that in me. But yet I've been able to heal all my health issues and stay raw and lose the weight. I lost over 60 pounds, probably more. I haven't weighed myself in a long time, but I, my highest was 190. I mean, last time I weighed myself, I was 130, but you know, I'm getting fit. So, oh, you can't see. Hold on. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> That muscle, who knows what I weigh now? Uh, got a lot of lean muscle. Okay, I don't know. Um, I don't know what I weigh, and it doesn't matter because I'm liking the way I'm looking, and that's all that matters, the way I feel, the way I look, the way I, um, uh, that's it, the feel and the look. I'm trying to think of a nut. That's it. So, yeah, that's the leaky gut video. Um, trying to think if there's any more tips and tricks I can give you. Enjoy the raw food diet, and that's how you're going to stick to it. Uh, there's no one specific food that heals you because it's what you don't eat that heals you. So, my boo, Goddess Gabrina, 
thank you for this question because it's a very important topic. A lot of people want to take this herb or that fruit. You want to do um, this mono, this juice, this specific mono cleanse. is not going to be that. It's going to be what you eliminate. The fried food, the meat, the dairy, the processed foods. And, oh, my God, I have to make a video on processed foods because some of y'all don't get it. And we got it. Um, that's the next video. Love you. Thank you so much. Thank you for being you, being on your healthy healing journey. If you want to connect more, I'll leave some links below. And um, I'll see you in the next video, boo. Bye. You got this.